busy working mom is here to join me today to make 15 minute meals and we're making some bell pepper nachos. So this is kind of a different fun spin on nachos without the chips and you're adding veggies. So who doesn't love that? Even picky eaters will love these, I promise you that. So I have some lean ground beef that I'm gonna start to brown up in a pan. And to it, I'm just gonna add my favorite taco seasonings, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, and one teaspoon of cumin. And then I have three-fourths cup of salsa, and any kind of salsa will work. And Stacey, I'm just gonna have you cut those in half. You're already ahead of me, you're doing great. You know exactly what to do. You are a Dashing Dish fan, aren't you? I really am. And I love Stacy because not only is she a really close friend, and we're really in the same walk of life in a lot of ways, her and her ho husband both work from home, and we both have little ones at home, toddlers, so we know how hard it is sometimes to get a meal on the table and we have to do it really fast. Especially working from home, it's almost kind of tricky because you're working, working, working and there's no cutoff time. And then all of a sudden you realize, oh my gosh, it's five o'clock mm -hmm. and your family's hungry and looking to you and you're like, wait, I still have work to do. So it's a tricky place to be. But um, what do you find that your go-to meals are when it comes to really quick and easy meals on Dashing Dish? Well, we have a lot of them. But I think one of our current favorites right now is the Mediterranean chicken salad. Mm. We are in love with that. Even my toddler just gobbles it up. Um, That's pretty good, a salad. He really likes toddler. it. Toddler. Right? And then he also really loves the, um, the cheeseburger hamburger helper recipe. Oh. He loves that one. That one, I can never make enough of it. We never we have leftovers. We just made that. Yeah. It's one of our favorites. That's one of Sean's favorites, too. And I find that that one goes over well with picky eaters and toddlers as well. Mm -hmm. And it's really quick and easy. Because the noodles and everything just cooks right in one pan, so that just makes everything easier. Mm -hmm. I'm all about one pan, sheet pan, one pan, one bowl. You know, who has time for dishes? I really don't. <laughs> As busy working moms. And what do you find that the hardest thing about really finding balance is as a working mom and trying to live a healthy lifestyle? Because I know you guys do as well. Well, like you mentioned earlier, sometimes it's easy to work all day, I'll be in the office and then realize, oh my goodness, everyone is hungry and I haven't started a meal. Yeah. And so that's really great when I can just pull up a 15 minute meal and then you have it ready in 15 minutes and nobody's starving yet. Right, right. I find that mine is balance. I'm always finding that I'm having to rebalance things out and just say, okay, what's the proper priority here? And really check my priorities constantly and just say, am I doing things in the right priority? Because it's really easy for me to get into a work mode. So I find that that's always something that I'm having to kind of re-hone in. So I added my seasonings. You can see the lean ground beef is cooked up. You just want to get it until it's just about brown. You don't want to overcook it because these will continue to bake up a little bit. Okay, so you can see how this is browned up really nicely. So I think it's ready to add to the peppers. So whenever you're done with those, and I have a feeling that all those peppers won't fit on this one baking pan, so we can always do the rest later on a separate pan. But this is so easy. This took about five minutes to make. You're cutting up these peppers. By the time we bake them, all you have to do is add the cheese on top. Bake them for about five to 10 minutes, 425 degrees, just to soften the peppers, just a hair, and they're so tiny, they soften really easily. And then just to melt the cheese on top. So really about five to 10 minutes in the oven is the most you'd wanna do with these little guys. So really easy. So 15 minute meal, there you go. And it's a healthier version of nachos. Who doesn't love that?